half in the bag. Jesus Christ, you're some kind of moron! I'm from a more enlightened age, the space age, from the future, the future of space, outer space. Hello and welcome to the first ever Best of the Worst Spotlight video, where we talk about one singular movie on Best of the Worst. So if you really want us to go super in-depth on a shitty B-movie that you're never going to see, this is the place to tune in! While the first film that we selected is a classic, you've probably never heard of it, but it's a classic to us. <laughs> Space Cops. Jesus Christ, you're some kind of moron! I have an incoming ship! He's being pursued by the Space Cops! Space Cops. Space Cop, do you even know what's in hot dogs? Yeah. Processed horse penis and Chinese people. Well, at least they are in the future. You know what I miss most about the future? What's that? Hot dogs. Space cop. For anyone that doesn't know, the idea is that this movie was shot over the course of, was it 12 years? I think 12 years. 12 years. But the fact that this is just released now, yeah, it's weird that, that the early scenes were shot 12 years ago and it wasn't released until now. I mean, but other than that, the movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Up. What? What? You just killed thousands of people! You're welcome. Thank God it's not me. Uh, no, this is Rich Evans. Really? Oh, yeah. Did, did you did do you, that to me? <laughs> <laughs> None of it really matters. Nothing matters! None of it really matters. <laughs> <laughs> start from how? How? start from the beginning uh, the, uh, okay and go well, where let's, you go no let's let's explain it and uh, before we talk into how right. like nonsensical and weird it is the, like as it went along we kind of understood it a little yeah. bit better yeah so explain like oh, well, the here's... basic story before we get into the weirdness are you trying to tell me that you're a cop you look more like the mailman or an ice cream truck driver who ate himself out of business you're damn right i'm a cop i'm a goddamn space cop I'm from the future, the future of space, and you just ruined my night. <laughs> <laughs> it almost feels like the movie was made just as a practical joke on that lead actor, like just to embarrass him. <laughs> That's possible. <laughs> so if these aliens activate their doomsday weapon, it'll suck the earth into a black hole. We've got to stop them. Space Cop, are you even listening to me? Yeah, but my check engine light's on. What? Oh my god! I'm done. So we're watching this movie, and he's the most compelling thing about the movie. It's an odd movie, all, overall. But, like, he was con consistently compelling. Ten celebrities that have secret deformities. Oh yeah, click on that shit. Oh my god! Oh my god, I've downloaded a super virus! I can't... Computer, I can't... I can't see where I'm going! Oh my god, the garbage cans! Oh! But this seems like the kind of thing where it's like, he was in this and that was it. Right. It seems like that kind of performance where he's like some local guy yeah, that they he, put in the movie. He does not feel like a career actor. Yes. And yet that is what he is. But he's in fucking Blade Runner. Yeah. Smile, son of a bitch. I, I would say no hints that the movie's supposed to be a comedy, but I don't think there's any hints that the movie's supposed to be a comedy the whole way through. No, because it's not a, it's not a comedy. It's not a comedy. I can't believe he took all of it, especially considering how heavy it was. Not to mention big. That one was almost 12 inches long, but he put it all the way in. 
We start we in basically in the middle of, like, the beginning of Act 2. You, you can't. And then we have to circle all the way back you, around. You, you can't analyze this like Acts. Yes, I can. You, me, no. you explain it by detail. I'll, I'll, I'll come back. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> And then when you're still when you're still talking about the third segment in the movie, I'll be coming back. The third segment, down. which is the forty second act, which leads into the twenty second act, which leads into the third act. <laughs> Fuck it, you're in charge, man. I don't need this in my goddamn life. Chief of Space Police out. I think I cracked, I just, my brain cracked. I just couldn't stop laughing and I wasn't laughing at anything in particular. <laughs> what? Oh what? God. What? <laughs> they forgot the wireless this day. You were laughing that it was that inept. No, I was just laughing like like a person in a straitjacket would laugh. <laughs> like there was no context. I was just like, ah, my brain stopped working. <laughs> Do I, do I sign out? <laughs> this is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, Jay, do, would you recommend this? No, not at all. I thought this movie was miserable. The first half, I was like, uh, the scenes are so like disconnected from each other that I was like, in like, I just wanted to yell, get on with it. Mm -hmm. And then the second half of the movie, I just wanted to keep yelling, ends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you recommend this film? Um, no. Okay. Horribly miscast. Mm -hmm. Very, two varying of tones. Um, it's not funny enough, yeah. and it's ultra violent and ultimately pointless. And the plot is not interesting or revealing. Oh my! I'm alive. Did they find a cure for my pancreatic cancer? No. Not till 2025. What? Ow! My pancreatic cancer! It's juvenile. It's tasteless. It's dumb. It's forced. It's disgusting. And most of all, it's pathetic and desperate. And that's, you say, feel bad. I would say you should not feel bad for not liking this movie, for not wanting to see this movie. You have nothing to feel bad about. It's a shitty comedy. Let's roll.